I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARPgasm. Today I'm making a Viking chair, or an African chair, or an African bush chair, or bog chair, or stargazer chair, or Viking stargazer chair, or African Viking bog bush stargazer chair, whatever. It's a fucking medieval chair. It's two planks of wood that sit like this, and you can sit down on it. It's a very simple design, and I hope to make it out some ply what I found on a job site. Now, I'm using this chair just for a LARP. I don't want to sit on a camp chair like everybody else does. I want to have something that actually looks sort of period authentic. So, because it's a fantasy-based game, I don't really care that I'm not using oak or maple or some awesome wood to make this chair out of. I'm just using this plywood that I found uh, on some job site somewhere someone gave me for free. It's three-quarter inch plywood, and uh, I've already cut it uh, to some dimensions. Now, I will try to share the dimensions with you, but I'm basically just building this by feel. Uh, if you're not comfortable enough with your carpentry skills to just sort of build something by feel, then you may want to look up some plans online, and trust me, there are plenty of plans on how to build these, but I want to make sure that when I sit on this, it's comfortable. I'm a pretty wide dude, so I cut the back a lot wider than some of these chairs are. I'm going to make a little bit wider seat, so that when I sit down, the seat's nice and high, I can put my head back against it and really sort of relax. Some of the plans I saw for the ones online seemed pretty small. I mean, they'd be okay, but I want to be comfortable when I sit in this thing. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. And I'll try to share the dimensions with you as best I can, but like I said, a lot of it's just whatever I see and feel to be good. Now the first thing you gotta understand is that these chairs are meant to sit a little low. Now I'm not gonna go measuring angles here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this piece of wood to where I think might be comfortable to sort of have my back against it. And then I'm gonna take this piece of wood, which is gonna sit like this, and I'm gonna figure out where I think it might be nice for me to uh, plop my butt down on. So I'm gonna use a regular chair sort of as reference and then lower it down a little bit. So I'll see if I can videotape this, but no promises. So that board is 15 inches wide, 54 inches high, and I'm gonna put the board that slides through it at 19 inches. Sorry if you use the metric system, I'm sure you can Google it. Uh, the other board, like I said, it's eight inches wide, but I also cut a piece that is 15 inches wide, which I'm going to put on top of it to make a seat. Now you can do a lot of measuring and stuff. I, uh, I'm not one of those measuring type people, so. A lot of projects I do come out, uh, you know, artisanal. Uh, however, this is a little bit left over from the top of the eight inch board that I cut off. So I'm just gonna use this, trace it, make a template, and then just cut a little bit bigger than this. That way I know the other board will slide through it. And then of course I am gonna have to measure to find where the center is because I want this thing to be centered. But I mean, that's pretty much it. So we measure this, we know it's 15 inches, make our mark at seven and a half, that's the center. Measure this, we know that it's eight inches, make our mark at four inches. Then all we gotta do is put these together. And then we know that this board is centered right where we want it. And then I just gotta trace around it and cut out. So, trace around it. And this is where we need to cut, right here. Boom. Now if we want this actually to be on the line, then that's fine. We just make sure that this stays where it's supposed to be. We can extend that line up a little bit and then get this so that it is truly centered where we want it to be. Right, and then that's where we're gonna put it. Easy enough, you with me so far? Yeah, I thought so. So you're gonna need some tools. I suggest a drill and a jigsaw. If you don't have these, you can use an old fashioned drill and uh, you know a saw to get in there and do it. 
uh, you know, or whatever your creative mind may come up with. You could actually just take a, a large drill bit uh, or like a small hole saw bit and just drill a bunch of holes in a line if this is all you have. Uh, but, you know, it's 2017. These tools aren't that expensive. You could probably pick up a jigsaw at Walmart for a couple bucks. Power drills you pick up for a couple bucks. But, um, you know, if you are on a budget, you know, you work with what you have. Uh, if worse came to worse, you could probably chisel this groove out. But, uh, you know, do whatever you need to do. I suggest power drill, jigsaw. And so we begin. Go ahead and start by drilling a hole in one of the corners. This is where you'll start your jigsaw at. And there it is. For a lot of you, that might actually be the finished project, Lee. That's it. Now, uh, like I said, I have a piece that sits on here that makes it go the whole way from side to side. It's 15 inches, which is not attached right now. I'm just showing you that basically, if that's all you were looking to do, there's your chair. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you're just looking to build a real simple chair, I went ahead and I added that wider seat part that I told you about, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, for me, I would stain this, I would cut out some sort of design on the back, round the edges on the seat, and uh, that's pretty much it for this plywood chair. Now, if you weigh, you know, probably 100 pounds or less, or if you're a kid, this will probably work. For someone like me, I'm gonna have to reinforce it, I think, but we'll go ahead and sit on it and, uh, you know, see how it works. Since it's starting to get evening, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get, I think, get a cup of mead, sit down and uh, check out the stars. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. As always, adventure on.